Hi there. Okay. Right, this is this is the third attempt at doing this video this morning. I, and I don't know, I don't know. I, I've always just done them straight off, but today it's been weird. Anyway, here we are, and <laughs> I am gonna attempt to show you how to uh, make a little a little bird sculpture. Well, sculpture, I mean, you know, that's stretching it a bit, but I basically just wanna show you the technique to um, join little thumb pots together and make other things out of uh, little thumb pots. So I put my two little practice ones together. I've never done them before. I just thought I'd, I'd give it a go. I don't know why the camera's, I'm gonna have to slump like this to make it work today. I don't know, I've obviously done it wrong. Hold on a minute, let me just put that. Can I get it to go up a bit? A little bit. Anyway, let's just do it, shall we? Okay, so in previous videos, I've shown you how to make um, a thumb pot. So this is a bit of a like, here's one I made earlier moment, because I just want to try and fit in quite a lot of um, technique stuff. So if you make yourself a little thumb pot, and if you've never made a thumb pot before, watch my video on how to make a thumb pot. Uh, they're super quick and easy. Um, this one I have let dry for, oh, I don't know, not that long. Anyway, it's still kind of flexible, but it's not super floppy. And can you see I flattened off the rim and I've just done that by literally bashing it on the table, carefully, carefully bashing it on the table. So you're sort of just tamping it down like that until you've flattened the rim. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is score all the way around that rim. So that is just slashing in with your knife, just roughing up that surface. Doesn't have to be really neat. Doesn't have to be a neat grid pattern, anything like that. I'm just hacking in, okay? Little bit of scoring around the edge. Okay, so if you have made yourself some slip, which is dry clay mixed with uh, water, mine's a bit watery actually, because I've only just done it, but otherwise you could just use a bit of water, that'll be fine. Um, so we are just going to put the brush around that rim, okay, like that. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna join these two edges together. Okay, I need to see what I'm doing. So I'm just sort of folding it in until they kind of touch, can you see? until they touch and they're being squeezed together. So, oh gosh, where are my glasses? Oh God, I haven't even got them around my neck. What have I done with them? Just taking them off. Right, we're gonna do it without glasses. Oh, wish me luck. So, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this without glasses. So I'm just pushing those two edges together, okay? So that I've got them sealed up, all right? It looks slightly a little bit like a pasty, kind of. Um, so I'm just going to squeeze those edges together along there as well. But I'm actually just going to leave that end bit open, okay? And I might just make that into a little bit more of a pointy bit there. Okay, so we're starting to get there. Now, I want to actually fix another small thumb pot onto that end. And that's going to kind of create uh, what will be the head. So you're going to take a smaller lump of clay and we did small thumb pots in the video um, about spoon making. So a tiny lump like that, about the size of a walnut maybe. So I'm just gonna press into that, okay? And squeeze around the edge. Okay, squeeze, squidge, 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 squidge. Oh, this is a bit big actually, but never mind. We'll just, you know, let's just see how it, how it works. So a small thumb pot, okay? Just a little bit like that. And I'm going to hopefully try and squidge that over the top of that end, all right? So let's see, it's all a bit, uh, oh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say now. It's all a bit something, something, forgotten. Uh, okay, I'm just scoring the inside of my little thumb pot. Got that? Because every two bits of clay you ever join together, you've got to do the scoring, really. I mean, it is very, very super important, particularly when you've got soft clay joining onto slightly firmer clay. If your clay is really squidgy and wet, sometimes you can just smooth it together. But anyway, score and slip. Put a little bit of slip on the inside of there, okay? And then I'm gonna just kind of almost like pop it on like a lid, you know? Almost like a lid. So I've just popped that on there like that. And obviously that looks pretty bad at the moment. Um, so what we need to do is just make sure you've got a good seal, okay, 
And then um, what you can do is get one of your tools or your finger, actually, let's just do it with our finger. And I'm just going to start to smooth that down. Oh, got a bit of a lump in clay. What's that? A hard lump of something. So I'm smoothing it down all the way around. Okay. And what we've actually got now is a great big trapped air bubble. <laughs> so when you've finished making your bird, you must remember to put a tiny pinhole in it somewhere. Otherwise, you'll be putting a massive great big trapped air bubble in the kiln if you get it fired. And we know what happens when we put air bubbles in the kiln. It's going to explode. So if you don't put a hole in it, I will put it that way. OK, so I've just roughly smoothed that on. So can you see now we've got um, a little bit of a kind of head shape. OK, this looks a bit wrong, doesn't it? And we've got a bit of an ugly sort of welt along the, the back. I'm just going to tamp it down a little bit. So that's how it's going to kind of sit. So we're going to sort that bit out. I'll show you how to smear a sausage. That is what we're going to call this. I'm going to get a nice soft sausage of clay. OK, because it's a bit like a crack, isn't it? It's like a great big crack. And I actually just want to squidge that sausage on there. You could score it if, if it, you know, this is quite squidgy, so I'm not going to bother to score and slip. So you've got your sausage like that. And actually, there's a really good technique where you just drag half of it over to one side like that. Yeah. And then this side, you kind of drag it over to that side. OK, so now it's like got a bit of a Mohican. <laughs> But you're just going to, but that's really sealed that crack up really, really well. So basically you're actually just gonna smooth that all off now. And you know that that is a really, really, really good joint. Okay, and it will never come apart. So you, I'm not gonna to spend too long smearing and smoothing, but you will probably do that for a lot longer. Um, okay, I might get my tool and just take that back a little bit you know you can tool it off you can use your fingers you can get it to look however it needs to be can you see so we're kind of getting there that looks like it's really joined that up really really well and obviously all of these sort of marks you are just going to carry on smoothing it and making it gorgeous okay so we've got your basic shape here I think it needs a little bit more of a tail um, on this one can you see so we're just going to add a little bit onto its bottom end it's rear end so the way we're going to do that we're going to roll a fat short sausage and we're going to pat it down a little bit oh god that's my phone ringing hold on a moment it's not going well this morning right let's just let's just decline that sorry gerald anyway <laughs> oh gosh i'm going to chop the end off of that so if it's like that, I'm just going to pat that down. I can't believe I have my phone on again and it's still on. He might phone back in a minute. Oh, God. Anyway, let's just get this tail joined on. I'm going to do a little bit of scoring. And I think I'm just going to join it on to the underneath side of this part. A little bit of scoring on there. A little bit of slip. And let's just squidge that into place. Can you see? So I'm just joining it on like that squeezing that together okay so can you see we're getting there and, and basically you're just going to blend all of that together again using your finger to start with and like that and you could use your tool oh he's just sent me a message I'm sure that must be Gerald and now that he sent me a message I can hear that Bertie's oh yeah that'll be Bertie scratching at the door freaking out because he doesn't like it when he gets when I get a message on my phone if it goes whoosh, whoosh, he just freaks out a little bit he doesn't like the sound so okay so this is all a bit squidgy and wet and I'm trying to do it really quickly but you can see how I'm just trying to try and shape that into a slightly better shape you know you have to decide how you want it okay so the last thing our little birdie needs is a beak and that, 
How are we doing? Oh, 10 minutes, right. So I have just made a tiny little beaky shape like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to stick it onto the front here. I'm just going to mark it up. Where do I want it? Somewhere around there. That'll do. So I'm going to just a little bit of scoring, a little bit of scoring here, a little blob of slip, and poking that beak onto the front. Oops, let's get that. And, and that can be as big or as short as you want. You know, that can kind of look like however you want it to look like. Okay, so there we have it. The basics of a bird. Um, and you can, oh, and actually, oh, let's, um, let's poke, let's poke an eye, a couple of, a pair of eyes, shall we? With the end of a paintbrush. Oh, it's all a bit soft. Okay, so then, then at least it's got some eyes so that it can see because it does need to see. Um, so that is the basic basics of making a bird shape. You can, obviously, um, you could add some wings if you wanted to add some wings. You can texturize it. Um, you could kind of decorate it really beautifully and stylize it and make it really super colorful and just like really poke it and make it a bit like a folk arty kind of bird because obviously they are totally stylized um, birds. You could use your texture tools like your... Um, your forks, your homemade tools, poking it with little dots, uh, anything you can find really, and just make them really, really beautiful with your colour. And if you want to buy coloured slips from me, I have got the most lovely range of colours that you can buy from me here. And they're only three quid or four quid for a 60 mil pot, so they're brilliant. Um, and that's it, that's it. Experiment, make your thumb pot you know, experiment joining that together and try like different sizes will give you obviously different shaped kind of birds, you know, a bigger head, smaller head, you know, play around, play around with it. it. I reckon they'd be quite nice if they were really tiny, like you could do a whole family of them. That would be really sweet, wouldn't it? Um, you know, it's the beginnings. It's just showing you the very, very beginnings of um, making a, um, a hollow form really, really easily. Um, but do make sure that you make a little hole somewhere. I'm just gonna show you, even just a little hole like that is enough. It doesn't have to be a big hole, just a tiny pin hole is absolutely fine. Um, that's it from me for today. Uh, happy Tuesday and show me your birds. Okay, bye for now.